Hi there, I'm Doug from Sophos, and today we're going to take a look at the Wanna attack, also known as Wanna Cry, Wanna Crypt, and several other variations. We're going to attack a machine in real time, show how the attack gets stopped, and then take a look at the root cause analysis visualization of the attack. Sit down, strap in, and tell Siri to hold your calls. So while much of this can be automated via code, we'll take a look at it from an active adversary perspective. We've got an attacker's machine on the left here, and a user's endpoint on the right that we'll attack in real time. Now in this endpoint, we're going to turn off all protection except for our behavioral detection. This is not recommended, of course, but this is meant to highlight the protection capabilities of our CryptoGuard feature. Okay, now here's the IP address of the endpoint, and on the left, the attacker is checking to see if this IP address is vulnerable. Yes, the host is likely vulnerable. So as the attacker will exploit the machine using the Eternal Blue attack, Eternal Blue is writing a DLL that's going to be loaded, Eternal Blue is then launched, and the user's machine is owned. The attack then gets uploaded to the machine and run by leveraging Task Scheduler, at which point we'll see Intercept X block the attack and Sophos Clean begin cleanup. This creates a root cause analysis event that we'll look at shortly, but let's look at the user's files here first. We see that they can be opened since they haven't been encrypted by the attack. We also see that the first three files actually did get encrypted, at which point CryptoGuard recognized this as an attack, stopped the encryption, kicked off Sophos Clean, and rolled back the files using just-in-time copies it creates. So let's take a look at the attack visually with the root cause analysis feature found in our Intercept X product. From the overview screen, we can see that the root cause is lsas.exe. Let's hop over to the Visualize tab, and you can see we've got a lot going on with this attack, so let's try to hone in on some of the major aspects. We're looking for a circle with a red node and one with a blue node. So we found the red one here. This again is our root cause, lsas.exe. We see that lsas wrote msx service to disk inside the Windows directory. It's also executed the same file. This is the point of infection. We also see that this is making a connection to a URL. This is the kill switch you may have read about. If the attack reaches out to this URL and the URL exists, this variant of the attack will throw in the towel, so to speak. It won't go any further. So moving on, task SCHE.exe is then written and executed in light blue here. The green is the associated process. The process then makes a copy of itself in the program data folder. That copy then gets executed by CMD. Task SCHE.exe then gets launched over here and begins encrypting files. And notice the blue note here. This is the beacon event. The attack gave itself away when it started encrypting all these files, so our Intercept X CryptoGuard protection sprung to life, stopped the encryption, and rolled the affected files back to their safe states. 